Hi everyone. If you don't know me, my name is Lisa Tottleman and I'm the fundraising chair for Erie Puppy Mill Awareness. And I wanted to bring you a video today to um, let you know my experience with Puppy Mill Rescues. I adopt Puppy Mill Mom Survivors. Um, I currently have two. I have had three, one passed. And I have a third dog right now who's not a mill survivor, but she has special needs. Um, so I just wanted to give you a little bit of personal insight so that, here's Lily, I'm bribing them with treats to be in my movie, um, so that you know what these dogs go through, and hopefully that will inspire you to call your representatives for the memorandum that's on the table uh, from Jason Ordete in Pennsylvania. So feel free to share this video because the people in our group, you guys know. So feel free to share it and maybe educate someone that doesn't know. But um, a puppy mill is a large scale commercial breeding facility. It is not the, legit the legitimate breeders. Um, so, you know, this, the, the bill on the table does not affect legitimate breeders at all. And, um, I have nothing against legitimate breeders. I do have something against puppy mills. Um, so in a puppy mill, the dog's care is sacrificed for profit. Um, so I'm going to introduce you to Emmy. Come here, Em. This, Emmy doesn't like to, here. Okay. This is Emmy Sue. She was my first puppy mill rescue. She was three years old when the miller got rid of her. Um, and when I say got rid of, you know, if it hadn't been for the rescue lady going to help retire her, um, she would have been put down and probably not in a humane way. So she was only three. She had had one litter at least. And they think um, that she didn't produce after that, so she was of no use to the miller. Um, Emmy oh. is severely traumatized. Uh, okay, well, well, calm down. She, when we got her, she was bald from about here back. She was covered in scabs from fleas and um, ticks. She had sores in between her toes from walking on the wire cages. She had rotten teeth from no vet care, chewing on wires, improper food, not enough clean water. Um, Emmy finds it hard to go through doorways because a lot of times in the mills, if a dog tries to go through a doorway or escape, they're met with you know a leg and smacked up against the door. Um, she is afraid of flooring changes. She has a hard time going from carpet to hardwood to vinyl. Um, she has severe anxiety with that, actually. She won't go on grass. She's not used to it. Um, she does all her business on the cement. Her first walk took 45 minutes to get to the sidewalk um, with treats, you know, every three inches or so. She uh, didn't bark for the first, I think, six months. I didn't even know if she could because um, a lot of times in mills to hide how many dogs are in the building, they will be debarked, which is a horrible process. And you can go ahead and Google that if you'd like. Um, she is afraid of plastic bags. She is afraid of dishes. We feed her directly on a carpet mat. Um, she will drink out of a bowl. She is afraid of clapping hands. She's afraid of doorbells, whether they're on TV or in real life. Um, she's got a lot of anxiety, this one. It took her, I think, three months to look us in the eye. Um, close to a year to offer her belly for rubs. But she's, she's, okay, all right. She's made great progress. She still can't go up or downstairs, so I have to carry her like this, like a baby. Um, so that's Emmy's story. She was lucky. She got out early. Uh, okay. Time to meet Lily. Lily was 
a backyard uh, mill dog. So she was found on the streets pregnant, and they did end up aborting that pregnancy. Um, we don't know how many litters she's had. Hi, baby. We don't know how many litters she's had. When we got her, she had a belly full of tumors. She had mammary tumors all through here. They hung way down. Um, they didn't seem to bother her, and we weren't sure of her age, so we waited a year just to see her temperament, to see if she would survive a uh, operation to have those removed. So she did. See how she throws her head back? She has very few teeth, so she has to get the food back to the molars. Um, she has some skin issues. I don't know if you can tell. Her armpits are kind of raw right now. She's on meds for those. Huh, baby? She's a very sweet dog. She's not afraid of as much as Emmy is. Um, but she does have her health issues. Huh. Now, I tell them that they were probably really good mamas, and now it's their turn to be the babies. I love you, too. Um, and my other mill dog rescue was... Vivian. Vivian was a mill mate actually of Emmy's. We got Emmy first and then we went back to Cleveland to get uh, Vivian. Vivi had her ears tattooed, which is common. She's just a number. She didn't have a name. Um, she was so matted and gross. She was about six years old when the miller let her go. Um, at six years old, she had her very first bath. And I have pictures of that. I'll post them. Um, she was so afraid of us that she kept the leash very taut. So she had like the widest radius she could have at all times. We had to cut a leash so that it was like maybe two or three feet and keep it on her at all times so we could tramp on it when we needed to get her to not traumatize her. Uh, she had problems with my husband. If he even got near her, she would start that... Um, you know that, arr, arr, arr. like he was beating her. Um, I think that was trauma. So we enrolled her in a class, um, and him and her bonded, and it worked. She got over that. Um, she wasn't so afraid of the things that Emmy is afraid of, um, but she had horrible health issues. She was very prone to sickness. She lasted two years before um, she died in my bed. Uh, she wasn't that old. She was eight years old, but her body had a lot of mileage from a lot of litters. So that's my personal experience with puppy mill dogs. It's kind of what I specialize in. Um, there's a lot of quirks. They make great pets wonderful pets. I can't stress that enough, but you do have to have patience. They are not like normal dogs. Stop. They are not like normal. This, you want to see Lola? If she'll let me pick her up, which she won't. Uh, Lola is, came from a local rescue and she's just cranky. She's an older dog, um, but she, she didn't have a mill experience. So I beg you to call your legislators and ask them to sponsor and support Representative Ortete's bill. I urge you to not support businesses that uh, engage in the puppy mill industry. I urge you to educate yourself and every single person you know about puppy mills. Everyone. All of them. And that's it. Thank you. I will post the pictures of Vivi's before and after because it is pretty remarkable. Um, thanks for listening. Bye.